Hey, I'm Alan, and here's what's new for you in Planning Center. Today, I'm excited to show you some powerful upgrades to permissions and services designed and tailored for you and your volunteers within any ministry to have their own personalized and tailored experience. Let me show you how it works. We're going to start off on the People page under the Teams tab. Now, this is where all of your ministries and teams should live. Services is designed for all of your teams at your church, and this is where you can easily access them. Now, we're going to jump over to the People tab here, and we're going to add a brand new kids volunteer to services and access those permissions. So we're going to type in Tom Anderson. Now, Tom's already in our database, so I just have to select him to import him into services. Yes. And right here, we can see any service type and folders uh, that are available to set permissions to. Since Tom serves in our kids ministry, I'm going to give him viewer permissions to our children's church folder. Uh, but the others are going to stay as scheduled viewer. Scheduled viewer permission means that you only see the things that you're scheduled to. And if you're not scheduled to it, you don't see it. So since Tom serves in our kids ministry, we're going to leave the songs permission set to scheduled viewer. Now media, this is where we house our curriculum. So we're gonna set that to viewer for Tom. So that way he can have access to all the things he needs beforehand. We're gonna set continue and go ahead and create Tom. And there we go. He's been added to services with the permissions that he needs for the ministry he is serving in. Now we're gonna come back to the people page within services. And this is where all of your people and volunteers live and you can see their highest permission the last time that they served. But let's look at this permission field here. If you're not seeing that on your side, you can click on this filter icon and check or uncheck that field. And now we can see all of our volunteers and their highest permissions. Let's select Alex Collins, for example. We could select Alex and we could see that Alex serves in kids. Um, and right here, it's got viewer permissions. Now, since Alex also uh, creates the curriculum and adds it to services, we're going to elevate Alex's media permissions to editor. That way Alex can go ahead and add that curriculum uh, for his volunteers. We'll update that and then select done once we're done. And that updated right away. Now, if you have your teams already set up and you want to update these permissions for multiple people, you can use that, do that using our bulk editor. We're going to go ahead and hit filter. We're going to filter to the team of our choice. In this case, I'm going to select children's ministry. Now you can do this for any team, not just children's ministry or first impressions, but maybe you want to update permissions for your uh, worship team. You want to leave them as a scheduled viewer, but give them access to your songs database. You can do that too from right here. In this case, we're going to set our children's ministry volunteers to have access to the media tab, but not to the songs tab. We're going to hit bulk edit. We're going to set those media permissions to viewer and song permissions to scheduled viewer. This means they won't have access to the songs tab, but can see songs if they're scheduled in a plan in which they're assigned to. And then we're going to go ahead, we could set additional permissions for the children's ministry service type and make them a viewer there. And then update. And watch Planning Center update those people for you with those brand new permissions. Now let's see what it looks like from the volunteer's perspective. We're going to jump over to Ashley's profile. She is a kids ministry volunteer and you can see that she has access to the children's church folder and all of the service types pertaining to her children's ministry. But Ashley doesn't need to interact with songs and you can see there is no songs tab, but she wants to access curriculum. So if she selects media, she could see all the curriculum that pertains to her in the ministry that she serves in. And that's just a little bit of what you can do for all of your ministries when it comes to permissions and services. To stay up to date on all the things that are new for you, you can subscribe to our page at planningcenter.com slash blog.